been three decades since the last New Jersey transit strike. So are commuters prepared to handle what might happen? CBS 2's Emily Smith joins us now from Penn Station, where it seems the pressure is on. Emily. Christine, more than 100,000 people take New Jersey Transit into New York City every day. As of today, those commuters are pretty concerned about Monday morning. We're just praying now. We're praying and hoping. It was get out of Dodge time at Penn Station this afternoon. And while commuters were happy to kickstart their weekend, the impending transit strike and how they're going to get back into the city on Monday morning was putting a damper on things. It's not going to be pretty. It's going to really be a hustle bustle. This is already a hustle bustle and a push push day. That's going to be chaos. It's not going to be an easy one, I'll tell you that. Anthony Ingiani from Red Bank, New Jersey, says he has some options, but he's not looking forward to them. Academy bus, or I could take the ferry, but it's a whole different commute. And it's uh, it's going to be a lot, a lot it's going to be difficult. I can work from home, but a lot of people can't. Especially essential services workers, which is why many Manhattan hospitals say they're ready to put their doctors and nurses up. If this situation calls for that, we're, we're, we're capable of doing that. We'll be making provisions for emergency lodging at our facilities, either in available patient areas or on air mattresses or cots. Chris Christie, no relation to the governor, says he endured the Long Island Railroad strike when he lived in New York in 1987, and he doesn't want to do it again. It's not fun. It really isn't because the, we had a drive in and it was just chaos. And trying to find parking in the city was just crazy. That strike lasted a total of 11 days, heaven forbid, say commuters. Strike is not good. Strike is not good. Working is good. But it's possible. In 1983, New Jersey Transit struck for a full month, something Carla Lai, who commutes from Brick Church Station, says she certainly doesn't want to repeat of. I can't stay home. I can't stay home. I'm, I'm going to have to go to Hoboken and get around. And a lot of people say they plan on going to Hoboken to take the PATH train into the city. Those uh, tickets will be cross-honored. We are live from Penn Station. Emily Smith, CBS 2 News. Emily, thank you. And stay with CBS 2 for continuing coverage of the strike threat. And for more information on the contingency plans and other ways to get around, please visit our website, cbsnewyork.com.